Good morning. That's the most triggering alarm noise ever. It's currently half seven, and as you can tell, I have just woken up. And if you were not ready for the day, I forgot the second half of it. TikTok audios are constantly stuck in my head. That's just my personality trait now. So. I have a confession to make. First of all, I am currently making a matcha. Why? Because the caffeine is essential at this time in the morning. Um, so I have been ignoring my commitments at uni for two weeks something two weeks i think um we've just had a week off to do some essays and i've written a three out of four because i didn't really get that time to do it during the week because i had the worst cold ever don't talk to me like that it was really upsetting and then my wisdom teeth started to grow through at the same time so i had this cold and then i had my wisdom teeth my sleep was awful, but I'm recovering from my cold. I am not recovering from my wisdom teeth. I'm getting there. Um, so I didn't get to do my essays because I was dying in bed. So I've had to bash them out in literally like 48 hours, which is the worst thing ever. Don't ever give me that idea again. Don't ever tell me I can do something last minute because I will. I will. Um, so this week I've told myself I have to go into uni every day, no matter what. Really didn't want to go into uni today. I have, I've had like five and a half hours sleep as well, but I'm doing it. I am paying nine grand for this course, so I um, should probably go in. Anyway. I have made a matcha with oat milk, it's the best thing ever, that's really hot, that's really hot, and I am going to go get ready and do my makeup, and bring you guys along with me for a, well it's not really a day at uni because I only have one class, but for like a morning at uni whilst I bash some work out. And then just hang with me for the rest of the day. Let's just chill. I'm so tired. I was having a really good dream as well. Does anybody get that when you wake up in the morning? You just have this really good dream and you can't say what it's about because you just can't remember. But you just know it was really good. And you just didn't want to wake up. And then your alarm goes off. And it kind of interrupts in that dream. And then your alarm is in your dream. And then... I don't know if that makes sense. Anyway, see you guys in a second. We'll have a transition because that's that's my favourite thing to do on this channel is transition. So see you in a minute. I'm so tired and I'm gonna be late. This is the outfit. This is the outfit. I think I'm gonna sweat when I'm on the tube. Hmm. You can barely see me. I think I'm gonna sweat when I'm on the tube. But oh well, I'm fulfilling my 15 year old indie kid dreams. Plus I thought I'd wear a coat today because it is officially coat weather. Yeah, I'm sweating. I am gonna sweat. Where's all my stuff? Yeah, all this bag. Do you know where my Oyster card is, babe? Who decided uni was a good idea? Not me. Okay, face mask, oyster card, bag, me, phone, 
let's go. Goodbye. Wearing a coat was a good idea. Listen to me if you're in the UK. It is coat weather officially and it is coat and long sleeved top underneath weather. <laughs> I really would alleviate a lot of my stresses if I just turned up on time and left on time. Am I capable of doing that? No. I hate doing the tube in the morning. Rush hour is not something I vibe with. Can't handle the busyness and how hot the Victoria line gets. I have not been up this early for what, like two, three weeks. This is very bad, but I'm proud of myself for getting up. I really struggle waking up in the mornings. Um, I just want to go back to bed. So I'm proud of myself gonna try and be productive today I've got to get my essays in by 4 p.m. I'm gonna go sit in a prat bash out all that work I've got some readings to do I might do that but I don't really like to push myself because I don't value my degree that much la 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 just living my life <laughs> I really thought I'd come out of my 9am lecture and I'd be, you know, in the mood to write an essay. But am I in the mood to write an essay? No, I'm not. I can't do this anymore. I realised in class today I'm nearly halfway through my degree and I hate it so much that I have got a oat matcha my faith thing to drink. I don't really drink coffee that often because it makes me really jittery. Later, I think I'm gonna have a smoothie as well today because the fruit is really healthy. No, 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 no. What am I doing a degree for? I need to have some self discipline and I'm going to write it. I'm also going to cry. But I'm going to do it. It's going to be painful. But what did I expect when I applied for this degree? I expected pain. I did expect pain. And I am experiencing pain. So, yeah. <laughs> I have spent four hours writing an essay and I have submitted them all. They're all submitted, they're all done and dusted. I was going to do some more work today. I brought my iPad in to do some reading, 
because that's what my course is. <laughs> I don't like reading. <laughs> girl, girl, I can't see. Um, but yeah, so I was going to do some reading today, but I've literally done four hours of writing an essay and rereading my other ones. So I really think I deserve the rest. So I'm now going to, I'm so nervous. I've literally found my location. I'm gonna take some photos of myself in public and I've never done it alone before. Um, my boyfriend Reese normally takes the photos of me for my Instagram. Um, I have literally bought my tripod and I'm gonna do it and I'm so scared. Um, I don't care about recording myself in public. Like I'm literally like, happy to vlog. Like, yo, look at me. But taking photos of myself, like there are people watching and judging me. But at the same time, do you think they care? Like, I I just have the mindset that everyone's too caught up in their own business to really remember what goes on with you. Like, how often do you remember what a stranger does when you walk past them? Like, we're all so concerned with how we look and. Um, how our hair looks, how our outfits look, how we walk. Too busy focusing on ourselves to focus on other people. So this whole mindset that other people are always obsessing over you is actually wrong because everyone's too busy obsessing over themselves to even obsess over you. So why am I bothered that people are going to judge me for taking photos of myself? Like, really? I'm building up the confidence to do it. I need to put my lipstick on set my tripod up and awkwardly do it because I can't put this tripod up for shit. I actually can't do it. It falls down all the time. And then I'm going to awkwardly take photos of myself. Anyway, so here are the locations I'm thinking, right? First of all, I would like to add that this is really pretty and I would like to take photos in front of that, but I don't really know how. I think I'll look a bit too busy on my feet. Um, I really love this little moment over here, so I might try and do some over here, but there's a lot of people walking by. I also like, over here, there is some guy watching me across the street and that makes me feel nervous. I don't think I'm going to go over here this bit, but mm, okay, I'm going over here because I don't like that he's staring at me. It's making me feel very uncomfortable. What is with old men? I actually can't. Anyway, here I go. I'm so nervous. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I fucking did it. I did it. There's something about pushing yourself and doing new things. That feeling afterwards when you've done it and you've overcome like the thing you was anxious about, it's truly an amazing feeling. My phone is going to die because I am stupid and I didn't bring a portable charger with me and I have been vlogging all morning. It's drained my battery so much. I've had lunch and chilled out for a bit. What is going on with this fringe? Ah! I'm now gonna edit a video because I actually haven't uploaded one for like a week now. And I'm trying to do it weekly, but it's so hard to 
balance YouTube with uni. It's a lot easier for me to do like Instagram and TikTok, but YouTube is, you know, I've got to make a longer video if I edit it and it's just, it takes more time, but I'm going to, I'm going to edit this video now. Hopefully I'll get out today or tomorrow. Water reminder, stay hydrated. Hello. Wow. You know when you cut your hair and you get like, you you decide it's a good idea to cut it short or get like short layers and then you have like a really ridiculous like ponytail when you do it out like, you know, it's a look. Um, so I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have cried all my makeup off. So this is a really good Monday so far, but I'm ready to turn it around. It's now seven o'clock and I didn't really edit my video. Um, I got really bored and then started like comparing my life to everybody else's and then felt really crap to be honest. But you know, I've had my cry, I've let it out and I still don't feel amazing, but now I'm going to stop feeling sorry for myself and just have a nice evening. We're gonna make a really scrummy dinner and I'll show you guys. Oh my God, I'll give you guys this recipe. It's vegetarian, it's not vegan, it's got dairy in it, but honestly, one of the best dinners and I'm super duper excited to eat it and we might bake a cake later. Yeah, so I thought tonight, no, I'm putting you guys down. I'm putting you down, I'm putting you down. So I was going to go out tonight with my friend Luke, but unfortunately they're getting the start of a cold and last time they went out, um, they ended up having a cough for like six weeks straight. So it's not a very good idea to go out drinking when you're ill. Especially after like the pandemic because everyone's immune systems are like really low at the moment. I'm quite gutted because I was really excited because I spent the last week indoors in bed dying because I had a cold that was really bad and my wisdom teeth have been causing me so much bother this past week. Literally, I've had like the worst night's sleep this past week because of it. Like, I would wake up like every single hour. It was so painful. Because I'm on aspirin every single day because of my autoimmune disease, I can't take ibuprofen because it's part of the same family as aspirin. So I can't take ibuprofen and there's a lot of painkillers I can't take because it's the same family as aspirin um, or it interferes with aspirin. So I can only take paracetamol and it got to the point with my pain where like paracetamol was not helping it. Oh, fuck wisdom teeth. Who invented wisdom teeth? No one invented wisdom teeth. You'd have thought by now, considering wisdom teeth literally like, I don't know what the point of them are. No, don't know, can't tell you. I'm just sitting there thinking that you know what, like you'd have thought the human race would have evolved to not have wisdom teeth anymore considering it hurts so bad. What was I talking about? I was really excited to go out because I'd spent the past week in bed being ill and being in pain and trying to do my essays but not really being able to. But it's okay because we want Luke to get better. We don't we don't want anybody being ill. Luke, if you're watching this, I love you. I guess it's a good thing that Luke cancelled on me because I actually like can't afford it. My 21st is in a few weeks, so I need to really be saving for that because I'm going to have a super duper time. And you know what? You guys are invited. You guys are invited to my 21st. Yeah, so after that, I just had a little cry and felt sorry for myself because I just started comparing my life to everybody else's. And felt a little bit shit because um, I realised today in lesson I'm nearly halfway through my degree. 
and I only have a couple friends. So yeah, I, I uh, go through periods where I feel sorry for myself because I don't have loads of friends, but then I realise that the friendships I do have are really valuable and mean so much to me. And it's not about quantity, it's about quality. I actually really value days out by myself sometimes. I really enjoy going out shopping by myself and I, I just kind of, I don't know, I guess I've never really thought about this, but I actually well enjoy it because I just go into the shops I want to go into um you don't have to hassle about like what other people want to eat you can just eat what you want to eat and like just spending some quality time with yourself like honestly let's normalize that quality time with ourselves and get to know yourself because you're the only one you've got your whole life it doesn't matter how many friends you have how many people are in your family um, none of that stuff truly matters because all that matters, well, it does matter. <laughs> of course it fucking matters. Um, those people are still important, but the most important thing in your life is you and being happy within yourself. Because if you're not happy within yourself, then you're not ever going to be happy. Go take yourself on a coffee date or go sit in a park by yourself and read a book or do your favourite thing by yourself. Go do it right now. Or maybe not right now because you could be watching this like, at a ridiculous time. Um, just go do that. Go schedule that into your calendar right now. Let me know down in the comments if you do that, how it was. Because it's really lovely and the more you do it, the more enjoyable it becomes. Because then you're not like, you're literally by yourself. You don't have to like um, act a certain way or try to please other people. You're just by yourself. It's really lovely sometimes, it's really comforting. The tattoo video. Oh, it's like, it, um, is it like a hundred? Four hundred. Fuck off! Is it? Oh, wow! Four hundred people watch me get a tattoo! Oh my god, I'm well excited! Guys, love you all! I'm actually planning on getting some more tattoos soon, so I'll bring you guys along. Let me know any tattoo suggestions in the comment because I honestly don't know what to get and I really want to get some more. I really want to get like a patchwork sleeve. Anyway, so this is a 13 minute video of me doing a TED talk and I do obviously need to edit for it. But I have like, I've literally chatted shit and um, really hope you enjoyed my advice. So we're going to make dinner and then maybe we'll make a cake and maybe we'll do it drunk. I think I'm already tipsy. This is my first glass. <laughs> it is a Monday night, but we are students, so you're not allowed to criticise us because weekdays don't exist. And you're not allowed to criticise us anyways because time is not real. Time is a concept. Weekdays were created by people. Weekdays exist for capitalism so that you work five days a week. Work, work, work. And you know what I say to that? I say no. I say, drink your wine, bake your cakes, live your life like you're the main character, and don't listen to what other people say, and don't let capitalism control your life. At least try not to, it's really hard. Anyway, if you love my earrings, please do check them out, they're available on my Etsy shop, and we've got to make dinner, and I'm going to talk to you guys through dinner, and maybe we'll bake a cake. So I'll see you guys in a second. Welcome to the cooking part of this video! So we are making these scrumptious paneer tikka naan with tomato and cucumber salad. It has a really nice mango chutney kind of yogurt over it as well. Mm. It is beautiful. It's one of our favourite meals. But look how good it is. So excited. So what you need is a pack of paneer. And first of all, you want to chop it up into little cubes. That's all chopped up now. And I forgot what we need to, what we need to do next. Oh, we need garlic. We need garlic. I'm, gonna wait for the video. I'm currently sitting here peeling this onion because the skin is not coming off. Excuse me. So we have got the lovely paneer marinade. 
It smells scrumptious. I wish you could smell it. Um, I guess it doesn't look the most appetizing. Um, I'm going to put the recipe in the description because I know that you guys probably going to not take notes of everything I'm saying. Plus, I'm, I am missing bits out. So if you want to make this, the recipe is in the description. I highly recommend it. It's like 10 out of 10. This really yummy meal. Really yummy. I'm going to make... So I'm now going to make the salad that goes on top. Now, this is made up of... Well, if I had the recipe i would know but i don't can i have your phone thank you now the salad is <laughs> oh no uh, what was that a wine box. <laughs> excuse me You got a spoon and get all the stuff. Shiver me timbers! Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. No, I didn't ask for that. Got a bit of sizzle going on. So the salad includes 125 grams of baby thumb tomatoes, which are so cute. I definitely should have bought two bags from the shop. Um, and then it also includes half cucumber and one shallot. We don't have a shallot, I'm afraid. But we do have red onions, and that's gonna have to do. It's gonna have to do. I'm sure it does a similar thing. It's just not as sweet. It still tastes pretty good though, because we have not done it with shallots before, but it's still pretty scrumptious. So I'm just gonna dice that went wrong. I'm going to dice the onion. I'm going to cry. Onions always make me cry. So um, be prepared to see some tears and experience me being in pain. Because I will be in pain. It's very painful. I heard that chewing gum helps when you're cutting onions, but I'm actually not sure if I believe it. Oh my god, I'm feeling the burn already. Ah! I'm claustrophobic, Darren! Oh my god, it's burning! Onions, why do they make your eyes cry? Why, why, why? Take it back. I'll take it back. It's like you're saying me now. It's telling you now. Do not recommend it. Do not. And then the most important part is to try the salad. So we got the paneer with the tikka marinade and it's so yummy. We got the salad to go on top and then we've put mango, the recipe says to put mango chutney in with the remaining yogurt. Um, honestly, this, it tastes amazing. It honestly is the best thing. So we're gonna dish up now and I will show you guys the result and it's super yummy. Oh my God, I really hope you guys try this. Oh my God. Gosh, look at this. Oh my God, it's so yummy. I really want you guys to try it. It's literally the best dinner ever. Like, mm -mm -mm. chef's kiss. 
I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. Okay, this is going to get messy. It's so beautiful. Please, please, please go try this. It's so yummy. Highly recommend this dinner. It is 20 to 9, so we're probably not going to make a cake tonight. Do you want to make a cake tonight? So, I think I might end this vlog here. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.